majority decision. And you, Australian Firefly Champion! Tonight, all eyes are on this man banging Benny Kite as he takes on Ben Horn for the Australian welterweight title. Everything is really on the line for Kai tonight, who is coming off two consecutive close losses, but will step into the ring as favourite against Horn to once again go home with the belt and become a two-time Australian champion. Maybe so, but this won't be an easy fight for the former champ. Horn will be the taller fighter with an awkward style and will look to capitalise on his reach and pepper Kite with jabs all night. Absolutely. And that's something I'm sure Kite and his team, Luke and Steve from Fortitude Boxing, have planned for. And they'll have something up their sleeve to reassert Kite's standing at the top of the tree in the welterweight division. Well, the time for talk is over. The battle to become the Australian welterweight champion is just moments away. Let's go ringside to hear the fighter introductions and the opening bell. It's a cautious start from Kite, as both fighters look to get a read on each other. Starting to pick up the pace now and land some good shots. Cardio and going the distance won't be a problem for Kite, who's known to have one of the best aerobic bases of any fighter in any division. Kite landing some good shots now, but also taking a few in return, as Horn shows he's come prepared for a fight. These early rounds are where we start to, to see a few patterns emerge and each of the fighters plan their attack angles and combinations. Lots of fighting on the ropes here from both fighters with the referee stepping in to keep things moving. We thought going into this fight that we might see a bit of that with the style of Horn matched up against the aggressive Kite. Into the middle rounds here, and it's clear to see that Kite is landing the cleaner shots and starting to put his opponent under pressure. Horn is continuing to dig deep and show big heart, but you start to get the feeling that the unrelenting pressure of Kite is starting to take its toll. Some minor issues for Kite here with his tape coming loose. And head trainer Luke Meldon stepping in to fix that up. Now that's sorted, we're back into it, and the arm wrestle these two fighters find themselves in. Kite is continuing to land good shots here, and looks an improved fighter from his last two appearances. Yes, yes, definitely. An improved performance from Kite, who should be ahead on the judges' scorecards, as he continues to pile on the offence. We're now well into the final stages of this fight and it's Kite who's taken a strong advantage over these past few rounds to put himself in a strong position. It is not over yet though. Uh, Horn is continuing to try and land a few punches as Kite presses forward. Final 10 seconds! Final moments now. What a fantastic battle between these two warriors. And that is it. We are off to the judges' scorecards. Well, he came in favourite and didn't disappoint. It's Kite who's the winner in the eyes of the judges and gets back his Australian welterweight title. Horn had his moments, but overall it was a dominant victory for Banging, who goes home with the belt and moves on to the next challenge.
Australian welterweight champion, Bang and Benny Kike. The strap, the prestigious Australian belt back on your shoulder must feel pretty good. Yeah, mate, it feels great. You know, I, uh, I promised my boys when I when I came home, uh, sorry, before I came home tonight, I was going to bring the belt home, and I'm stoked. You know, I, uh, I, uh, you know, I worked hard and, and we got the job done on the night, and very excited. Thank you.